Hey everybody, Rob from Karma Comic Chameleon coming at you with a couple of entitled parent stories. First one, give me your purse. Let's jump right in. So I have five kids, three roommates, plus me and my man, six doggos. Two of the kids are my stepkids, love them like they're mine though. It plays no part in the story, just clarifying. On to the story. So with so many people in the house, it's really cramped. I'm a blue collar worker and the budget is really tight, but despite that, I've worked hard and I saved up the money for a basic gaming laptop. I love gaming. We have gaming systems in our house, but my kids are on them most of the time that I'm free. They're good kids and would hand it over if asked, but I don't have the heart to take it most of the time. I can usually find housework that isn't one of their chores to keep me occupied. Any hoozles, so I decided to take my new gaming laptop to a little cafe that the tables sit in a garden, have me some coffee, and enjoy some fresh air. I'm sitting there playing WoW when a little tyke walks up and starts watching me play. Now, I hate it when people stare over my shoulder, but I have gotten used to it due to my oldest stepson having the same habit. My shoulder blades get tight, but I ignore it, he's just a munchkin, maybe 7 or 8. So after watching me for about 10 minutes, he pipes up, I'm bored of this, do you have Fortnite I can play? Now I get it. I'm a hunter, and I was grinding, getting leather, and that can be really boring to watch, but this isn't his property, and at his age, he should understand that he has no say in what a stranger does with their time and property. So I pull myself out of my gaming mode, realizing his mother or father hasn't had any contact with him this whole time. Hey kiddo, where's your mom or dad? He points over to a spot with a lady, face buried in her phone, and the biggest, gaudiest purse I have seen in my life sitting on the table. She can't be more than 23. No judgments, but obviously, someone was a teen mother. I look back at him and smile. Alright kiddo, you have two options. You can either go back to your mom, or you can watch me play the game I'm playing. But I came out here to relax, and this is how I'm relaxing. This isn't your property, and you don't get to tell me how to use it. I said none of this in an angry tone, mind you. He started to tear up and ran back to his mother. I sighed and closed my laptop, putting it back in my backpack, wrapping the shoulder strap around my ankle, cause I could smell the sh** that was about to hit the fan. I leaned back in my chair and waited. I hear the chair scrape against the cement and the sound of the table creaking from her taking that monster purse off of it. How she carries it, I'll never know. She sits down in front of me. She looks emaciated by choice, by the way, not a land whale. I look across the table and give her the blandest look I can. She smiles. Hey, my son said that you have a laptop you were playing and that you wouldn't let him play Fortnite on it. I look back. That is correct. And why should I? Her face drops the facade. Listen here, my son is bored and I don't have anything to entertain him. So why don't you just let him play on your laptop on fourth night? Yes, she pronounced it wrong. I stuck my hand out. 30 bucks. She gets this confused look on her face. Excuse me? I grinned like a Cheshire cat. Well, as it stands, it's not my responsibility to keep your son entertained. If you wish to change that, I expect compensation, like a proper babysitter. She whined at me like a six-year-old. Sigh. You have no idea what it's like to have to take care of an overactive child. P.S. My middle bio child is autistic. They're very hyperactive. I laughed in her face. Bitch, you don't know a damn thing about me. Don't assume. It was at this time I felt a tugging on my ankle. It was the kid trying to take my bag. I looked down and just say, really? The kid realized he had gotten caught and dove to stand behind his mother. It was at this time she switched tactics. Maybe you could just give the laptop to us. I cocked my head. Give me your purse. She was thoroughly confused. Why? It's my purse. It's my property. I nodded. I know how you feel, but I want it. Much like you want my laptop, so give it to me. She looked disgruntled. No, just listen. If you don't give me the laptop, I'll cause a scene and I'll end up with it anyway. I looked at her. Do it. My laptop has a thumbprint password, and my background is of me and my five kids. So good luck, bitch. We sat there staring each other down for a minute before she growled, 
grabbed her purse, and went back to her table. I didn't want to allow her to pull some more sh**, so I left to go to another cafe. But before I did, the place I was at has this drink that should be illegal. It has so much sugar and caffeine in it. It's kind of like that crap Honey Boo Boo would drink. I bought a small one and sent it over to her table for her kid. Yes, I'm an asshole. And before I get hate comments, when I say small, I mean really small. It's more like a triple shot glass. As I was leaving, he was chugging it. The kid was entitled, yes, but I don't blame him. I feel bad that someday he'll have to learn the hard way that people don't put up with that kind of crap. No cops, no managers, no justice boner, but I still hope you enjoyed. Maybe I'll get lucky and not have to post again. I love how the parent in this case had the forethought to put the strap of the bag around their ankle, knowing that something was going to happen. I guess you can just get that feeling from people sometimes. Way to go, Opie. On to our next story. Good luck with that, sir, but it's not mine. Let's jump right in. Warning. If you suffer from short attention span, boredom spells, or lack of free time, consult your life choices before reading this post. This post may have unintended side effects, like nausea, boiling blood, and hatred of entitled people. Viewer discretion is advised. For a little backstory, I go to a career center at school, currently in the IT program, programming, networking, etc., where every student is provided a Surface Pro 3 to do their work on. It's owned by the school, and that's made pretty obvious. The important takeaway is I, nor does anyone else in the classroom, own their surfaces. If you see where this is going, good for you. On to the meat of the story, because the classroom is about 86 Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius inside, I asked permission to take my desk out into the hallway. On this desk is a switch, in a fairly obvious case. My Surface, my headphones, and my phone. As I'm working, read, slacking off on Reddit, and Breath of the Wild because there's five days left in the year and I've already taken the final exam. A few people pass by because, well, hallway. One person comes and goes a few times, back and forth more than usual, eventually they just stop in front of my desk, arms folded, and wait. Me being me, I don't acknowledge you just standing in front of me while I'm obviously busy. Was actually busy at the time, amazingly. My typing is far from silent. You can at least make some attempt to get my attention. Well, after five minutes of him standing there, I finally look up to him. Yes? Well, are you going to give it to me or what? Excuse me? What? That thing on your desk? There's multiple things on my desk. Thank you for being obvious about which thing you want me to just give you. That computer. Okay, so you want my Surface. No big deal, except, as I said, I didn't own it. Sorry, but it's not mine, it's school property. Besides, what justification do you have for me just handing over something like that anyways? At this point, Entitled Kid comes out of the nearby bathroom and immediately runs to his father, tugging at his shirt. 12 years at the most. Daddy, I want that square thing. It looks cool. I'm working on it, little angel. There you go. My son wants it, and you're probably just being useless on it all day? Yes, sir. I indeed am. You don't need it. Great. But like I said, that's not mine. Bullshit. That's not yours. You're a liar. As I'm busy practicing my, are you actually that stupid stare on this dude? The teacher comes out because yelling. You there, fat guy. Why is this lying punk not letting me have his computer? Because that's not his. It's school property, and I'm the teacher for the class. If you want one, you're buying one yourself. Oh, really? Where does it say it belongs to the school? Flipping it over to point out all five stickers here, 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 and here. But that's not fair. It should be mine. To teacher, sign language, get the guard, officer. I don't know how many times we're going to have to say it, but this is not mine. You cannot have it. So what? Good luck with that, sir. Immediately after that, he just picked it up, handed it to his son, and walked down the hallway. Both me and teacher followed him. Either he was deaf on his rear 180 or just didn't care, thinking we were going to watch him prove his point. Well, my classroom is on the third story, and about the second landing, we see Mr. Churro walking up the stairs. Good day, officer. Good day? Say, is that your device? It's mine. It's my son's. We just got it. Oh, cool. Can I see it real quick? Shows him the said surface, complete with all stickers visible. 
Wait, that's not yours. That's school property. Sir, you cannot take that. That's theft. See, you're telling me that some punk kid, some fatty that claims to be a teacher, and now a monkey in a cop outfit are gonna tell me what I can and cannot do? Yes, because it's a crime. Walk out those doors and you will be arrested. Or give me that and I'll just walk away. But it's mine! Now, my teacher decided to just reach over Entitled Kid and pluck it from his hands, which worked surprisingly effectively. He gave it to me, and I booked it back up the stairs before Entitled Father did whatever mad Entitled Fathers did. But given how loud they were shouting, and how well tile and concrete reflects the sound, I could hear the rest. Hey, you can't take that from my son like that. Actually, I can, and that is not yours to take. Fine, f*** this, I'm going somewhere else. As for you, lose some weight, you make me sick. I'm sitting in class half working, half wasting time again, when teacher comes back up and just says, Humans are a wonderful social species. With as much sarcasm as possible, before making sure nothing got messed up on the device. Bit of an anticlimactic ending, but you get what you get. I personally find it too funny, and I hope you enjoyed. Okay, two stories with very similar plots. Why do these parents feel that it's okay to just take electronic devices from other people? Where do you have to grow up that makes this an okay thing to do? I know men are from Mars and women are from Venus, but these entitled parents have to come from Uranus. Once again, this is Rob from Karma Comma Chameleon saying thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and share the video with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one.